Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today we're gonna talk about some garbage. Some good old fashioned haunted bunch and garbage, cause I got lots of trash, and it's time to talk about it. Before we jump into that, I do wanna mention that yes, this is the third time you will have seen me in this exact same get up right here. And guys, I'm not even mad at it, because everything I feel like just came together so beautifully. I love my face of makeup, so I don't care that it's been three times. I hope it doesn't bother you all. Um, but if you're wondering what happened, how I got here, so on and so forth, I will leave my link in review to the Urban Decay Honey Collection, this entire beast right here, that is what's all over my face. So I will link that up here for you. And I will also link the MAC Studio Fix Foundation Stick right up here as well. That is the foundation I am wearing and reviewing currently. Now all that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the trash. I'm just gonna show it to you, cause like, oh, it's a situation. So here's my little trash bucket, baby. Um, Guys, I'm not trying to say I have a problem, but like, I might have a problem. Um, Because I save every single piece of skincare or makeup or any type of a product that I think I even think I might want to talk to you about, I save it just in case because there are a lot of products that I use that I feel like nobody talks about and I just like always keep it in the back of my head like what if somebody wants to know about that? I want to be the one to tell them. So today this is what we're going to be working through. Obviously we're not going to get through the whole bucket and that's okay. We're mainly just here to I think skim the surface because right off the bat there's some Tatcha that I want to talk about, other high-end skincare and just some hair care stuff in general. So let's go ahead and put this little bad boy down and get into it guys. I am just so excited. All right beautiful people let's go ahead and kick things off right honey with a little cleanliness boom bath and body works this is one of their gentle foaming hand soaps in the scent black cherry merlot and oh honey child guys this smells so good it's just like oh it's just like the freaking it's just oh it's heavenly it's basically like the best smelling sweet cherry you've ever smelled in your life and it has this amazing aromatic quality when you're using it you pump it out and obviously it's a foam pump so it comes out as foam and when you're using it the smell just like wafts up into your face in the most amazing way like it's not too much it's not not enough to where you can't smell it like after you use this it lingers on your hands not overwhelmingly for just like a minute or two and it smells so so good now I do do in general really enjoy the Bath and Body Works foaming soaps. I think they're really nice. The quality of them is not drying on my skin at all and I love it that when you pump them out onto your hands one pump goes a long way and they make my hands feel clean without really overly stripping them and if you're curious by the way about their fall scents, their candles, anything like that. I did do a full haul video from Bath and Body Works. I will link it up here. It has a ton of their new scents for 2019 in the candles, in these, in the wall diffusers, all that good stuff and it's just a super fun cute like little impression prompt to video much more on the lifestyle side obviously more so than the makeup side but uh, if you're curious you want to know about those scents see if they're good you can check that video out but guys this soap is just it's so good I had to put it in here I saved this one the longest like I've just been like hoarding it in my bucket and just like smelling it every once in a while. Oh my God, it's so good. Next up, we'll talk about this little ditty right here. This is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. And this is something that I use because my hair is very, very, very brittle. Um, I actually don't use a ton of heat tools on it. I use as little as possible. I obviously go through and use heat protectant and all of that. Like I do everything that I can to safeguard my hair in any way possible. And for whatever reason, whether it's my tumor, my hormones, what have you, um, I still do have a very difficult time maintaining strength in my hair all the way from root down and so one of my best friends who is also a hairdresser recommended this to me and this is an amazing product and how I use it is I get out of the shower right or you know you get done with your hair shampoo condition like normal I get out and this is the first thing that I apply to my hair before anything else before heat protectant before styling before anything this goes in while my hair is like towel damp and basically in that sense it's kind of like getting out of the shower you dry off and you put on low Lotion because you want the lotion to really suck into your body while it's dry and while it needs it That's the same mentality that I take with this right here Like it's kind of the lotion for your hair post shower Like it's gonna go in and just give you that um, protein and that strength back into your hair And have I noticed it completely eliminating my breakage? No, I still do have some But from where it started like just to the point before I was using this my hair was literally like jagged up and down My hair was breaking off into a mullet before I started using this stuff and it has helped a ton I definitely 
recommend it to people if you are having, again, issues with breakage. If when you brush your hair, or blow dry it, whatever, if you look down at like your chest or your pants or whatever, you know, the sink, wherever you're doing it, if you look down and you see like a bunch of little short hairs that obviously came off of your head, you know, they're like this long, this long, this long, where it looks like a barber came in and just like sprinkled his shavings from multiple clients all over the place, you're definitely someone that should take a look at this. There is also a shampoo and conditioner with this. I don't have them in this haul. Um, I only use those two or three times a week just because I don't ever want to overdo it with any one product. But if that's something you're curious about, I will of course leave everything in this video linked down below. But uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out if you got breakage issues. All right, moving on to the next item, something you guys have seen me talk about a thousand times. Boom, the Innisfree uh, soap here. This is their volcanic pore cleansing foam. And I obviously have two, a little guy and a big guy. I buy these from Amazon and they are pretty drugstore priced. I would say I think the little guy is like a maybe six, eight dollars right in that range. And then the ginormous one is I think 14 and keep in mind too obviously like I cut these down so I can get every molecule of product now as far as what these are why I like them the shortened abridged version again if you've been here for a while you've already heard me have this spiel this is my favorite face soap of all time I think it is so so underrated now this is my face cleanser that I have used consistently for about oh maybe like two years maybe even more like we're talking the only breaks I have taken is if I wanted to like try another cleanser and then I immediately put it back and started using this one again because this cleanser for me is just so magical. Now I will say that if you're on the normal to oily side this is probably going to be better for you than if you're on the dry side. Something that if you are normal to oily and have acne skin this might be good for you. Um, I do think that if you have drier skin you could still use this because I know dry skin people obviously get acne too. So I would say if you have that skin and you want to give it a try just be sure that you have a very intense um, like thick robust moisturizer. Now I'm not going to keep droning on about this stuff because honestly I've talked about it so many times but I will never stop preaching about how good it is because guys it is just oh my god I love it I buy it continuously still buy it love it would repurchase a thousand times another item I've talked about before so I'm not going to spend too much time on it but this is the bumble and bumble um invisible oil it is also their heat protectant and I freaking love this stuff so much this is probably my second or third bottle I love the consistency of this the way that it sits on your hair the way that it smooths your hair out even though you're blow drying it which for me just creates like which all kinds of an issue and this is just it's such a good product bumble and bumble in general is just an amazing brand and they just came out with a glow oil or like a glowy version of this which i'm currently testing out as well it's in my bathroom but this is the original i highly recommend it if you're looking for a heat protectant it's a little bit more obviously on the pricey side because it is bumble and bumble but i can personally attest to the way that it goes in the hair the bottle itself lasts a long time there's something about the way it goes into my hair it gives me a little bit of oomph it gives my hair a little bit of nourishment but also protects it. It's like a big old cushy comforter coat for my hair. Yes. Now moving on to the next item, we have this little guy right here. This is from Alpha H and it is their liquid gold treatment. And this is something that I actually got in a curated collab box. I believe it was Wayne Goss and I want to say Cult Beauty. I think that there were like two makeup items and then maybe three or four skincare, something like that. And basically what this is supposed to do is resurface your skin, help with fine lines and wrinkles and hyperpigmentation and sunspots and that sort of thing. And again, he swore by this. Like in his video, he was so hype about this product and then I checked it out online because I'm like okay what if he's being paid like I love Wayne Goss but I want to make sure that I do my due diligence and I look up my own reviews well when you go to Google honey this thing has like four and a half out of five stars everybody loves it it's like something that a lot of people use and so I get it and I'm like yes this is gonna be amazing I'm gonna have Cindy Crawford's face by the time I'm done like yes and uh, no <laughs> that did not happen like not only did this not work it did not work on like a spiritual level it was like I was applying water every single night to my face like not one thing changed. It didn't help with wrinkles. It didn't help with hyperpigmentation. It didn't help even like not even like with one little acne scar did it do. And I was really bummed out about that. Now obviously skincare can work really well for some and not well at all for others. And it's okay that that happens because there's stuff that works for me that doesn't work for you and that's just how the game is played. But I was just really bummed because I wanted this to work so so badly because I love treatments like that in general. Um, so did it work again for me? No. Would I repurchase it? No. Um, do I think it's a bad product? Obviously it works for some people like a lot of people on the internet and Wayne Goss himself but for me it just I don't know it didn't do it Spoil of the story did it work for me no um, would I repurchase it no obviously but that doesn't mean it's bad it just means it didn't work for my skin so next now next up is something I don't even think most of you know I have tried on or off camera. This is the Physician's Formula Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. I cleaned this sucker out. Hey guys, I'm just going to give it to you straight. This product at the drugstore 
is really, really nice. If you like a balm cleanser like the uh, the Clinique Take the Day Off, anything like that where you kind of scoop your hand in and you get that stuff on your face and you really massage it in and it lifts it off a little bit gentler than just going in with a wipe and really rigorously scrubbing or going in with something like that, I really enjoyed it. It has a nice slippery feel to it. It's very um, malleable in your hands. It does a really nice job at removing makeup. It does get a little bit uh, stubborn in the mascara region, which for me is typical with balms anyways. Um, even the Clinique Take the Day Off doesn't really get in there and like remove it, remove it. I have to scrub it a little bit more with my fingers. And again, same with this one. But as far as the rest of my makeup, it removed it really nicely. It was very gentle and it left my skin with a nice um, amount of moisture to it. Like it didn't feel super stripped and just dehydrated, but it also felt ready to be cleansed. Like I felt like I got all the makeup up and we were ready for the next step sort of thing. And for me, it was just a home run. I would definitely repurchase this. Now, I believe this does retail somewhere in like the $13, $14 range. So keep that in mind when purchasing. Obviously, if you can get a different cleanser or something on sale, it may or may not be worth it because for the drugstore technical like side of it, that is a little pricey. But given that there are not many balms to choose from on the drugstore side, this is definitely the best one I have found. Um, and I've tried quite a few at this point. So I really like it. Again, the consistency is nice. It doesn't leave you feeling like greasy, goopy. It doesn't leave a bunch of weird like film everywhere. When you go to cleanse your face, it all comes off. And I really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something like that, something to check out. So let's go ahead and jump a little bit back into some hair care. Boom and boom. We have a shampoo and a conditioner from Wella. These are their Brilliance Micro Light Crystal Complex for fine to normal hair. And these, first of all, let me just, I'm just, pause. Let's just discuss the smell of their shampoo and conditioner, especially this red one. If you happen to be in Ulta and you're like, hey, I want to smell one of the best smells known to man, I expect you to walk over to this on the shelf. Oh my God. And just give it a whiff. Guys, this this smell is like being in a salon. I cannot stop smelling this. I think it is honest to God, one of the best smells in hair care that I have ever experienced. Oh my God, I need, to, I need to cap it. It's like a drug. Like once I start, I cannot stop. There is just something so good about this. And the best way that I can think to describe it is it smells identical to when you go to the salon, you're feeling so good, so bougie, they're washing your hair and you're like, do you have some sort of Ferrari magic back there that just makes my hair smell absolutely magical, like Harry Potter magical? That is what this smells like. It smells like your best day at the salon when you're feeling bougie, you're feeling good, you're really just getting it going in your hair. That is this. I'm telling you, if you ever happen to smell it, the first thing you're gonna go is, whoa, I'm in the salon because I've never smelled a product. I have smelled salon products that do not smell as salon-like as this. It's so good. Now, past the smell, which I just talked about for 12 minutes, um, the quality of the product itself is really good. I bought Wella several times. I have this one. I have another type that I'm trying right now. The big bottles like this last such a long time. I do feel like this blend specifically does help with the um, vibrancy of my color-treated hair, which is really nice. And overall, again, I just, I swear by it. I bought Wella time and time again. And I feel like they're a brand that like nobody talks about, which I do not understand because, oh my God, smells, I can smell through the cap. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'd buy it all day long. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. We don't need to spend any time at all on Batiste. Guys, this is the best dry shampoo. I talk about it in every empties video. There's so many things that I love about Batiste. I'm just going to give you a real quick rundown. Um, first of all, the price is really nice. I believe one of these is like right around maybe $12 or $13, roughly right in there. Um, I buy mine from Ulta. And like I said, everything will be linked down below. These do often go on sale where you can get buy one, get one half off. Most importantly, what I love about this, you guys, it comes in so so many different options. Some people want, a, you know, a floral scent or this scent, and some people want no scent, and all of those are options. And then they also have a color line. They also have a nice arrangement of color. Like, they have light, medium, dark, deep. Like, they have so many choices for whatever color your hair is, and I just freaking love that about them. Like, for a more affordable brand, I think that they are so well thought through. I love their products. I think they're an amazing value, and I love that I started off by saying, I'm not going to spend any time here, and then I just talked about it for um, a year and a half. Also, I have a cat hair right here. What is happening? Excuse me, sir. No. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get a couple of these other little random items out of the way. We have my simple face wipes. These are my favorite, favorite wipes. I have, hello, like another one right here that's almost gone. These are just so, so good. Now I have these in two different flavors. These are the micellar cleansing wipes and then the regular cleansing wipes. These ones right here are actually spec to remove waterproof mascara, which they do. Now I like these for several reasons. Number one, they're affordable. I think that that's like
like the key thing I look for when I'm considering a wipe for my face of this persuasion because I don't want something that I'm spending a ton of money on because I'm literally just wiping my face and throwing it away like I could get multiple items to do that with so I don't want to spend a lot but my favorite thing about these more so than even the price which <laughs> that's saying a lot is the way they feel on my skin because these do not leave any hear me any residue at all and that's my biggest complaint I think it's the Neutrogena ones everybody loves those they're like oh wow they're amazing get it right everybody raves about them even my mom shout out mom they're like her favorite go-to thing they even come in little singlets now they're great and they're a good wipe don't get me wrong but oh my word they leave a film on my face I don't know if it's oil I don't know if it's bug juice I don't know what it is but it's just like and I just oh my god like when I remove my makeup I don't want to feel anything this is just the first line of defense that I send in to help remove this six layers of crap that I put on my face throughout the day and I want it to do just that I just want you to remove the topical layer like everything else is gonna happen with the cleanser but I want that cleanser to be able to go in and just really scrub a dub dub like a lady in a tub all up in my pores and I feel like these just do it perfectly and these are also created for all skin types something to note so if you're worried about having like dry skin oily what have you um these are spec to work for you as well again i'm normal to oily and i absolutely love and adore them no matter what i'm doing so fun fact for me to you these are amazing now these right here are going to be the last items i talk about in this video um i apologize because i already can tell this video is getting quite long but this is a skincare routine that i actually picked up from tatcha and it's something that i had a ton of questions on once you guys knew that i was doing it so i wanted to wait till all three of these items were empty so i could throw them out there for you guys guys this is the tatcha ageless system this is the ageless renewal cream this is the ageless neck cream and then this is the ageless under eye cream and i have to say for all three products i have a pretty similar opinion of all of them i feel like they all have a really nice consistency they're very creamy which i really really enjoy and if you have drier skin more mature skin which is kind of who this is targeted for you will really enjoy that aspect but for me i did not notice and it just like pains me to even say this out loud but i didn't notice a difference at all in like wrinkles fine lines anything like that for me the eye cream it was very just okay like I put it on it was nice it was thick it was something that I had to use more so at night if I put it on under makeup I had to go very very sparingly because it was so thick um, but it is a really nice under eye cream I didn't notice any difference in wrinkles or baggage or tightening or anything like that now moving on to the face cream it was the same exact thing unfortunately um, I feel like this one out of all three was probably my favorite just because the consistency of this for a face cream is really really nice it's very thick um, but also kind of whipped at the same time and it goes onto your skin in a very thick way but as it really just like soaks into your skin it does so very evenly and it's very nourishing like it is very much so a dry skin lovers kind of cream if you have normal to oily I don't know that you'd love this the only reason that I love the consistency is that as of late I've noticed the perimeters of my face almost leaning a little bit more normal sometimes normal dry so it's super random them, but for me this came at the perfect time because I didn't realize how much I would love a thick cream until I tried this and the consistency is definitely there like it is on point now moving on to this little guy right here this is the ageless revitalizing neck cream now this is the reason the reason that I purchased the entire set and I was really excited to test this out because as a lot of you know or suffer from yourself girls got tech neck and if you don't know what tech neck is hello grab your phone you look down you're laying in bed you're doing one of these and we're getting all of these like wrinkles down our neck right here like down in this region even onto your chest and this was supposed to help with that help diminish them help kind of um, give you a little bit of rejuvenation a little bit of a plumpness to that area from my understanding and it didn't do that at all for me and this is the product out of everything I mean for like two months or so however long this product lasted me I was so diligent it didn't matter if I forgot to put it on and I was already half asleep girl got back up out of bed and went into the bathroom and applied it and I did it morning and night like just to really give it the benefit of the doubt and nothing <laughs> like I was so so sad sad I don't know if it's just me I don't know if maybe like my tech next just like too far along at the age of almost 30 <laughs> guys I turn 30 September 28th is my birthday what is happening you actually might even be seeing this like the day before or a couple days before my birthday like guys I'm only 30 is my tech neck just too far am I too far gone like oh God. I'm really upset about this but anyways for me it was definitely a bummer that it didn't like work work and do everything I wanted it to do but maybe if you have more mature skin um drier skin maybe you have more fine lines more wrinkles you could check it out again everything will be linked down below but I was just I really wanted it to work girl. I just really wanted a solution from a tech neck but until later girl we're just gonna we're just gonna have to rock all those wrinkles 
every single one. But all right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I still have a half a bucket left, so like your girl could do a whole nother video. But I want to hear from you guys down below. Do you like these? Are they helpful? Do you enjoy them? Do you want to see the other half of the bucket? Like, what are your thoughts, opinions, feelings on the subject? Leave it all down below. If you haven't subscribed and turn on your post notifications, please do that as well. I would greatly appreciate it. I put up five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I swear to you, it is like hazy in here. Like, I don't know. Does it just like, do I need oxygen? Like, what's happening? Talking, talking, talking about. I think this is probably, no, not probably. This is the best dry shampoo. There's a bug in my damn face. Now, all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the. And if you're curious, by the way, side note, same Lachelle Pro. What? And if you're curious, by the way, like, same Shameless. Now, I do in general. Uh, 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 uh.